Yes, yes, yes. Here we are with this new exciting session that I'm going to build this marvelous Volkswagen Beetle. Hope you like it and let's go for it. I will start focusing on the car body. I will clean all the imperfections of the mold using sandpaper before going to paint job. For polishing I'm using 600 and 1000 sand sponge. to apply a first layer of primer in the whole body. After first layer of primer I am going to apply a second layer and then I am going to polish in order to find imperfections in the mold. I am going to use 1000, 1500 and 2000 sandpaper and then I will find the polishing work with uh, 3000 sand sponge. painting the interior roof of the car with medium grey, that is the color that I will use in the whole interior of the car. Once the roof is dried, I'm going to mask it to don't mess it up with the main color of the body. Ok, now I'm painting a third layer of primer before going to paint job of the main color of the body. I apply a thin layer of main tone in the body. I'm using two component ultra gloss varnish of the AK brand. And for using it, you need uh, three parts of varnish, mix it with one part of hardener, and then you can thin uh, wherever you want to get a more fluid concentration of the mix. We let the burning layer dry for about 24 hours. Next, I'm applying uh, masking tape in the metallic lines in the sides in the front of the car, 
and painting to get a more accurate paint in this detail. Now I'm applying a second layer of varnish with the metallic lines we have already added. it is dry as we can see there are some imperfections in the surface in the varnish so now we need to polish them like I did before I'm going to polish with 1000 1500 2000 sandpaper and then I will use 3000 sand sponge now I'm applying a polishing fine compound of Tamiya and second uh, a finished compound of the Mia. Okay, and now I'm using this drill with a microfiber closing it to get a better results of polishing work. Now I'm spraying some water in the model kit in order to remove the excesses of compound. And now, last but not least part of the car body is applying a ceramic coating in the whole body. As you can see, it gets an even more shiny finish. Once it's nice and dry, we can remove the masking tape that we added in the, in the roof of the interior of the car. Now I'm going to focus on the engine of the car. Like we did before, we remove all the imperfections in the mold with a cutter and then we polish with fine sandpaper.
in order to get a more interesting model kit I'm going to upgrade the transmission strap For doing this I'm going to use this 2mm masking tape I continue with the building of the chassis of the car with the base. I improved the suspension of the car, putting this wire and a spiral around the suspension. As you can see we get more interesting pieces. the base of the chassis in semi close black. I bind the exhaust pipes masking between layers in semi close black chrome. And gun metal. Let's assemble some parts of the chassis. Now I'm masking the chassis to paint with the body color.
I upgrade the back suspension with wire like I did in the front suspension. I will get prepared these pieces that will be included once the chassis and bodywork will be assembled. Okay, with these two flexible pipes I'm also working with wire to give them a realistic finish. Okay, now I'm going to work with all the interior parts of the vehicles included dashboard, doors, front and back seats. Like I did before, I clean all the excesses of the mold and then I start gluing all the parts. I apply a black liar in some parts of the back seats and dashboard. After that, I mask the piece to spray with body color. I'm also painting the doors details with the body color Like I did in the body of the car, I will varnish the red parts to get ultra gloss red finish Now I mask again the body color to paint with the interior color Back and front seats I are entirely painted with the same interior color.
once it's dried, I'm going to wash with uh, black to get a more realistic uh, finish. Now I'm cleaning the parts that I mess up with the wash uh, with a dry brush technique. Well, if you don't like the results that give you the dry brush technique, you can just get rid of that and highlight the darkest parts with the brush. Let's add some details in Chrome indoors and dashboard. Now I'm adding some details in the dashboard with uh, black, grey and white. Like I did in the doors and the seats, I'm going to wash the dashboard to get more realistic results. Now I'm painting the direction wheel with the black primer and then I will apply a chrome in it. Ok, and now I'm going to paint all chrome pieces again, uh, like I did with the steering wheel, first with the black primer and then with chrome. I will apply a layer with ultra gloss burnish to all chromed pieces. Ok, now I'm going to paint in flat black the pieces that go in the sides of the doors and also the mood wards. Ok, now for the enrollment I use a permanent marker to paint the text. As you can see, the results are not bad at all. Now I'm going to work around the tires. As you can see, there are um, molding imperfections around the tires. I use a drill and 1000 sand sponge to clean them. I paint tires in a gloss black and a gloss white. To be more accurate, I use a drill to get a perfect line between black and white. Wow, great! We have all parts, it's time to assemble them. And I start with the chassis and interior, with dashboard, front and back seats and doors. Now I add some extra pieces in the engine. Now I add the two parts that go to the sides of the body, the windows and the rear view mirror. Well, now I assemble the three parts that compose uh, the four tires. Now I mount uh, tires to the chassis.
Okay, now I put the two last chassis parts uh, before combining with the car body. Before combining the body with the chassis, I spray some air to clean the dust from inside the, the car. Ok, now that we have mounted the chassis and the body, we can assemble the bonnet and the boot. Let's add some details of the body. Last, the icing of the cake, it's the car brand insignia. Well, thank you everyone for being till the end of the video. And if you have any comment or any feedback for me, or any doubt about the video or about the processes just please leave me a comment and thank you so much see you in next videos